Good afternoon guys, well as you can see I'm steaming up Cars loaded, ready to go Just about to head off for a little sandy way And just wanted to just say a quick thank you for joining me for this video And uh, just talk a bit about anxiety Anyone that's watched my um, Fish in the Mind video Will know that I do suffer quite, well can be quite badly with anxiety and depression And uh, this morning I was almost, almost bottling it for coming because I've never even driven here before, so that's always a big thing. Anyway, support of the wife. She's uh, pushed me into getting everything ready and I'm feeling better about going. So I'm just about to set off. So I'll uh, catch up with you again once I'm down on a little sandy way. Hi guys. Well, I made it. Not a bad drive, really. Found it pretty much okay. Used the What Three Words app as recommended by... WAA members for uh, finding the gate direction brought me straight here so drove in second car park and I'm on the right hand bank halfway down so I'm gonna take me time setting up come here for two days so there's no point rushing and first port of call be to get the deeper out and see if I can find that there uh, there's an eight point, eight point something meet, uh, feet um, gravel bar, which I've seen on the deeper app. So I'll be trying to find that. But uh, yeah, I'll get everything out, get everything set up, and I'll get back in a bit. So rods are finally out. Yeah, that was a bit of work. I had the deeper out. I found where the hump is, the gravel bar. So I clipped up to that. It's thirteen and a half wraps. And, uh, and then stuck a lead on just to, just, to, uh, just to try it out and it was solid yeah the lead bouncing back so I've got one rod on that on bait and uh, spodding yeah I don't do a lot of spodding it's bloody hard work even just 13 and a half wraps well I got, got bait out so my spod mix is my usual well my uh, pigeon conditioner and then I've got a uh, Parker Bates OG fish, chops and boilers, magic dust sauce, and then on the hook I've got a little PVA bag of the OG fish uh, pellets, and that's um, got the flat spot on, which it has brought up a flat spot, it's amazing. And then the right rod is just on an adjustable zig. It's high pressure, 1035 for the next couple of days, so I can't, can't deny that really. So I've got that set at seven foot at the minute. Again, I'm in 10 foot of water. So I might end up bringing it down a little bit, but we'll see. So now time to chill. Uh, I haven't seen signs of anything. I haven't seen anyone catch while I've been here. Um, apparently it is doing fish. I know so, someone had a fish over, has had fish over the weekend, so fingers crossed, but I'm here for 48 hours. So let's just see what happens but it's a lovely play it's really quiet um yeah it's i mean you can hear the birds and stuff the occasional person walking around but yeah it's really quiet so uh yeah right well i'll leave it there for now because i am spitting feathers i need a drink uh yeah i'll catch up with you in a little bit any updates of course i'll let you know that splash there, I've literally had one just show right there. Literally right there. Do I bring in and put a rod on it? Oh, yeah, I've got to, Anna. Got to. Look at the flat spot. Does what it says on the tin. Perfect cast. Right on the spot. That's got to be a bite. So I had a show in front of me. I think I did mention it. It's only a small fish, but it's definitely a carp. So I've had to put my left rod on it, and I did leave it there for a little bit. I had a few little bleats, but nothing really. So I've just put my left rod back on the spot, back on the gravel bar. PVA bag with the OG fish put, um, pellets and flat spot on it. And yeah. Hit the clip good, gone down with a crack. 
fishing on the spot. So fingers crossed for that. I've just lengthened the zig. So the zig now is three foot under the water. Uh, I am leaving the zig on overnight because it's high pressure and apparently it's do well overnight so we'll see that there. But, uh, it's nice being out. There's no road noise. I mean, a few planes going over. I think we're going to fly past to somewhere but it's lovely. It's really nice just to be out. Uh, fish would be great of course but uh, yeah I'm just uh, just chilling now. Any more updates? I'll let you know. Well, good evening. So I'm now retreated to my bivvy. Although I am still tempted to go and sit on my chair outside for a bit. I've had a tin curry for my tea, which was very nice, and a yoghurt. The wife has packed the food, so I, I should be well looked after with, for sustenance while I'm on the bank. Uh, I have had a bleep on my left hand rod. But I have had, I've, I've had cooch diving on that spot. But I am starting to hear fish wash out. Two so far. One is probably another five wraps past where my zig is fishing. So it's not in my water. And there is one to the left, which I think must be along along the uh, the gravel bar, which runs, I don't know, a certain amount of length on the width, which is what I'm fishing on. So, no runs or anything yet. But it's only the first night. Baits are in the water, the zig's still out, I'm leaving the zig on. And uh, fingers crossed for the night. So I'll just say good night for now. If I don't have anything through the night, I'll see you in the morning. And good morning. <clears throat> Nothing through the night. Um, it's now 5am. I'm awake, so I'm just gonna make it just making a brew. And I'm just gonna watch out now because it'll start coming light about six. Or is it later than like half past six now? I just wanna I just wanna be awake for that first bit of light and just to see what's going on, see if I see anything show. But uh yeah, quiet night. I'd like to say it was good so I got some sleep but I didn't. <laughs> So we'll be taking naps today. <laughs> yeah, any more updates? I'll let you know. Now, 20 to 8, I've just re, I've just re, uh, repositioned the depth of the zig, uh, it was quite high up, I'm now, I've just put it two foot under the surface, the sun is really bright, and I do think it's going to have brought the fish up in the, in the, in the surface, in the upper layers anyway. Left rod, I'm not going to touch it till after, till after what bite time would be. So by 11 o'clock, I'll bring that in. I'll re-put out some bait. And I'll put that one back on the spot. But I'm going to use the deeper at some point today. Just to just have a look around the margins. Because the zig, the zig rod, tonight I might put in the margin. In the margin spot if I can find a clear spot. Yeah, I'm just lucky. I haven't, I haven't really seen any shows or anything. It was cold overnight though. So, I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, just keep me eye out, see what, see what I can see. Right, it's got to 11 o'clock. Still nothing. So I've now, um, I think it's probably past bite time. So I've just brought in my left rod, which I've trying to beep on. Brought in, I've changed over to a Ronnie, and I've got on a uh, orange fluoro pineapple pop-up from Parker Bates. And before I put that out, I've put out another four, four spawns of my uh, my spot mix onto the spot. All four went on the spot. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, we're set up there now. I won't move that at all now until probably later on, if at all. We'll see what happens with it. It's done nothing on the dig. It's now another foot deeper. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. So keeping me uh, keeping my eye out on the water. I haven't seen any shows today, but I've been I was a good chance to a, another angler before. And he was saying, you don't tend to see shows on this side, but it could be the depth of water. Because the average depth seems to be about 15 to 17 feet. And my left rod is on, left rod is on that, that bar, that hump, which comes up to uh, 8 to 10 feet, which I'm on top of, which is rock hard. So yeah, just have to wait and see. I think it's time for some lunch. And uh, yeah, any more updates, I'll let you know. Yeah, still nothing happening. Just brought in my left rod, just to check. And clean. The bait's still smelling great, hook's sharp. So I wrapped it back up, put it straight back out, 14 wraps on that hump. I have baited under this tree here. So I wanted to put one in the margin overnight tonight. Found a lovely, lovely clear spot. Had a look round. Couldn't see any ducks. Threw a load of bait in. Three ducks suddenly appeared. And I probably emptied out that bait. So I'm just going to put it in the margin with a PVA mesh bag filled with the OG fish pellets. And flat spot. Yeah, not much is happening. Still chance. Still got the, still got the night to come. But, uh, yeah. Could be due to the, the, the drop in temperature, the high weather, uh, high pressure. It's got to, it's got to make a difference. But I don't think fish has come out while I've been here. I did hear, I think a 22 pound pike came out over the weekend, and there was a 19 pound carp came out Friday or Saturday, I think. But there's been nothing out last night, today. So I'll uh, keep my fingers crossed. I'll be changing this right rod from the zig about six, seven o'clock and get it put in get it put in the margin spot. But yeah, that's, that's all there is for now, I'm afraid. Any more updates? I'll let you know. Under pressure, no more time. Can we make a move? Overthinking you and I. What do we have to lose?
So just a qu quick update, a little change. My margin rod did nothing. Got swans now, stick of the neck down. So I brought it back in, stuck a Ronnie on it, stuck a bright yellow fluoro pineapple pop up from Parker Bates. I just flung it out as far as I could. Got quite a nice drop to be fair. So <laughs> last ditch, last ditch effort to try and just get a fish on the bank. We'll see. Catch up in a bit. So that's it. It is indeed a blank, unfortunately. Just about to bring the rods in. And get myself home. It's a shame, but it's a hard water. It was never going to be easy. Oh, now I've got the swans just completely tangled in my line. So that's nice. So I'll get these rods in and then I'm getting home. So it is a blank. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos going forward. I think I need a bit of a runs water for the next outing, so I don't know where, where that'll be or when that'll be, but I'd just like to wish you tight lines when you're on the bank. I'll see you on the next one.